iron tie and my and my simple machine that I did for, for my uh, science project is the catapult, which is a lever type of simple machine. And just so you know, I built three models. My first one is called Stone Thrower, which is a traction based catapult. It has a lever arm that pivots and you pull down on the short end, which makes the long off and swing over really fast and throw the project tile, which could be a stone, to make it. I glued a couple of sticks together on top of my toy wooden fire truck. This is my model. My second one is a... My second one is a tension type of catapult. Choose objects by using some type of spring. For my model, I taped up some cardboard and skewer with a rubber band on top of my toy car. The rubber band acts like a spring, and the skewer is acts like the lever or arm. I tape the bottle cap to the end of my skewer with a rubber band to my toy car. Fire. I pull back on the rubber band and release. This is my model. My third one is a type of torsion one which uses torsion spring for power. Ancient Greeks use tightly twisted ropes, but I just use the rubber band. This is my model. As I said, I, I made the catapult of the three that I did. I used these things to make them. Wood, cardboard, string, rubber bands, glue, duct tape, a Sprite bottle cap, a toy cube, a toy car, a toy fire truck, a skewer, tape, and plastic spoon. I made it with my mom and dad. castles by knocking down their walls, but some were just used like a bow and arrow to kill the enemy in battle. Now, now people, people have used catapults in wars for almost 2,000 years before gunpowder started with a belly bow or a gastro feet in 500 BC. It was so stiff, you would have to press it against your stomach and use both hands to load and fire. It took a way too long to load a fire before you do anything. Your opponent would kill you. Thus, in 400 BC, Dionysus of Syracuse believed in reign over Braun. He hired engineers, and now the Greek had the best weapons. It was tension capital, which was kind of which was like a big gastro feat. The engineers of King Philip, which was Alexander the Great's dad, improved on it and, and got it to go as fast as it could go, and turned it into a ballista which is a torsion capital. The energy was stored in the twisted ropes. Alexander the Great improved on it, on ballistae, and helped conquer Turkey, Tyre, and almost all of what now is Europe. Around 200 AD, the Chinese used traction, the Chinese used mage, invented traction catapults where, where two people yank on one end and shoot out the missile. It was very fast to operate and accurate. Around 1200 AD, Richard of Eng King Richard of England fought the mid fought, fought Saladin of the Middle King, uh, King Richard of England fought Saladin of Egypt and the Battle of Acre started in the Middle East. Both kings used catapults. They used onagers and gravity trebuchets. And after King Richard died, Philip, King Philip of France attacked King John of England to get, get, to get France back under his control. He used Cabulus, the great horse catapult, and knocked down the so-called impregnable walls. After 350 years, the French fought the English, and the English fought the Scots. 
They fought on land and on sea. They used Ludger the Warwolf, which is a trebuchet, with hundreds of pounds of counterweight, and could also have a half-ton projectile. The trebuchet was most effective and accurate. It even went against the Stirling Castle in Scotland. The advantage of the catapult was that it could fire anything. It could fire barrels of fire, hornets' nests, rocks, arrows, cattle manure, animal carcasses, dead people, and heads. They, they, they were even used on ships. After about 1450 AD, gunpowder and cannons took over, and that was the end of catapult warfare. Now, the catapult was important because before gunpowder, it was the siege machine. Catapults were used in many wars to help take down castles. For example, there once was a Chateau Gaylard built by Richard the Lionheart. He was an English king. It was, one side of it was located at the River Seine, and it sat on solid rock. The other three sides of it were placed on rocky, cli on rocky cliffs. Therefore, it was called the, the Impregnable Castle. Now, there once was a King Philip who lost all his land but Paris. So he went to attacking King John's castle. By now, Richard the Lionheart ha had been shot in the neck by an arrow. That's why King Philip was fighting King John. King Philip wanted France back under his control. So he took siege on Chateau Gaylard. King Philip immediately ordered for catapults to be made. Big mang they were big mangonels, smaller onagers, and one very, very large trebuchet. It was called Cabulus, the Great Horse Catapult. It was several stories high, could carry a half-ton rock that miners dug from underground, for six months, Philip's crew made the catapults and flattened hills so that the catapult's aim would be precise. They used all the catapults. This, then, to attack the um, Chateau Gaylard, they used all the catapults. The stones hit the outer ward, and the walls gave way because, because the miners of King Philip's side dug some dirt out from underneath. Then, King Philip's side stormed into the castle, but found themselves blocked by the middle ward. Then, one of King Philip's soldiers found a garbage outlet. So him and a few other fellow soldiers went through. Miraculously, they found themselves in the middle ward. They... they while in the middle ward, they, they made up a plan. They made a lot of noise, which made King John's people think all of King Philip's people came, came in. So they retreated into the inner ward. Then, King Philip brought out the catapults. Ooh, the sound of the swinging arms. Swish, shh, boom, swish, shh, boom. First tips of rocks fly out. Then cracks appear, then bigger cracks, and finally large, gapping holes. King John side surrendered. With the catapults, King Philip conquered Chateau Gaylord. And that is my science fair oral report. Now, for demonstration.
the projectile was supposed to fly out, but I didn't want anyone getting hurt, so I tied it to the lever arm. And that is my demonstration.